pilots. Terry Lloyd, ITN, Merseyside. Now, today's sports news and the details, here's Graham Miller. Five months before the World Cup finals kick off, and England captain Alan Shearer has made his long-awaited return to the Premiership. He came off the subs bench late in the second half and even had a hand in Newcastle's last-minute winner against Bolton. Shearer warmed up before kick-off, having missed the last 33 League and Cup games for Newcastle. Earlier, Barnes had scored Newcastle's first to record the 200th League and Cup goal of his career. The striker of the day, though, was Kevin Gallagher of Blackburn Rovers, who weighed in with a hat-trick against Aston Villa. Gallagher took his tally for the season to 16, as Rovers resumed second spot in the Premiership. Coventry manager Gordon Strachan could be in trouble with the FA after calling referee Steve Lodge an absolute disgrace following his side's 2-2 draw with Arsenal. Strachan was angry when Paul Williams was sent off for a foul on Arsenal's Dennis Bergkamp. Strachan insisted his player made no contact. So, at the top of the Premiership, Manchester United's lead has been cut to five points by Blackburn. United play their game in hand on Monday. Liverpool are a point behind Chelsea, who play at Everton tomorrow. At the other end, Tottenham avoided slipping to the bottom when they beat West Ham at home. Jürgen Klinsmann got the win of the Spurs, his first goal since his return to White Hart Lane. In Scotland, Rangers extended their lead in the top of the Premier Division to three points. After beating Motherwell, Alex Clellan got the winner in difficult conditions at Ibrox. The Football Association has charged non-league Solihull Borough and a referee over allegations of bribery after an FA Cup match. The referee, John Paul Robinson, was today officiating at Leighton Orient's game against Brighton. It's alleged Solihull paid him after their first round match against Darlington in November. Both the referee and the club have strenuously denied the allegations. He answered the letter, denied all the allegations, and put it in the hands of our solicitors to verify all we said. Tim Henman has missed out on retaining the Sydney international title he won last year. He lost in the final to Karol Kachera of Slovakia. Henman took the first four games but then let Kuchera back into the match. He lost his first service game in the second set, then his temper, before losing 7-5, 6-4. Rugby Union Leicester have kept up their challenge in the Premiership with a comprehensive win over the champions, Wasps. Leicester dominated the match at Welford Road and rounding things off with two late tries, the first from their South African fly-half, Joel Stransky. England's cricketers have had a marvellous second day in the opening match of their West Indies tour against Jamaica, First, Graham Thorpe hit 89 as England declared their first innings on 286 for 8. Then Dean Headley removed both Jamaica's openers cheaply. Jamaica had struggled to 108 for 8 by the end of play. All bodes well for the Test Series. Finally, tonight's winning national lottery numbers. They are 14, 31, 33, 38, 46 and 48. The bonus number is 26. Four winning tickets will each receive almost four million pounds. And that's the way the news looks tonight from Graham and me and the ITN weekend team. Good night. Good night. more severe weather on our hands. Rain is spreading northwards and eastwards, creating its own problems. But for the central and northern parts of Scotland, we'll see some more snow. And then later on tomorrow, that snow is going to creep its way southwards in a very cold and frosty outlook for much of the coming week. But tonight, a lot of cloud around with that wet weather spreading northwards and eastwards. Winds picking up the gale force in the southwest. Further north, though, we have that snow across northern parts of Scotland. And indeed, for much of the next 36 hours, blizzard conditions across the highlands and Grampians, that snow being whipped up by gale force winds. So a very wintry scene across the far north. Elsewhere, a lot of cloud around with some heavy bursts of rain to come. Down in the southwest, though, some improvement, and those brighter skies will edge their way eastwards across many southern parts of England. So some sunshine between the showers, very mild but very windy. Further north, though, a lot of cloud, further rain to come for Northern Ireland, northern parts of England. And for southern Scotland, that rain turning increasingly to snow and further blizzard conditions up there in the far north. Temperatures barely getting above freezing and gale force winds too. Here's tomorrow's sun. Power Jam.
generating electricity, whatever the weather. GMTV.